G'day, welcome back to Dad vs. Son, and as you can see, we're going on with Fields of Fire, Volume 1, World War II, Normandy, Mission 3, St. George's DL La Parc Defences. So I'm just going to say St. George from now on, that's probably easier for me. So this is uh, June 30 through July 10, 1944, patrols against German paratroops. Um, duration is 10, and visibility is random between a plus 2 and plus 5. So what I will do is I'm going to grab the action deck, give it a shake up, and then we're going to draw a 1, 2, 3, 4, and that'll be our 2, 3, 4, 5. Makes sense, doesn't it? In fact, we'll draw a five, and if it's a one, we'll redraw. That's the easiest way. So we draw a five, and we get a one, of course. So we draw a five, and we get a five. Okay, so it's five. So that means that our visibility is really, really crap. Okay. It's very, very dark. Okay. I've got to try and remember that. All right. -o. So, um, as you can see, it is, well, you can't really see, but it's five columns, um, four rows, and we start on row one. And we have to play this mission um, once for each platoon. So, and we have to put the objective in a different area in row four each time. So for the first turn, I well, first go, I've put the objective up here in uh, column one, row four. Row four has potential contact A's. Rows three and two have a random B or C. Okay, so no idea what they are. We only have two hills, both one level hills. This one with open fields on top, this one with a hedgerow on top. Um, and one gully, which is down in our starting area here in row one. So first platoon is going to take off from column one, row one. And it's going to go up here past our combat outpost. Then to here, to route two, then up to here, and then come back the same way. So remembering that all we've got to do is get up there and get back. We don't have to hold it. We don't have to kill anybody um, or anything else. we just got to keep rocking and rolling, okay? So as support, um, I've put two of two platoon there with two platoons, anti-tank and light machine gun. I've got two platoon here with their one of two and three of two with their rifle grenade. I've got the company first sergeant with the uh, 50 cal. Oh, sorry, the uh, one of one HMG and a mortar section. These Jeep's just sitting there. They can't go anywhere. Nobody else is allowed to move into row two or further forward other than one platoon. Here in the center, I've got uh, one of three platoon. So three platoon is looking after these three here. So I've got the XO with the mortar FO and two one HMG. Then over here, I've got two's anti-tank or bazooka and LMG along with two of three with three platoon headquarters, with the company headquarters, RDFO and the 50 cal. And down in the gully, just in case anybody wants to sneak in that way, I've got three of three platoon with his uh, rifle grenade. So one platoon is going out with its three squads and its anti-tank, its bazooka effectively, and that is it. Everything else is being held back so that it can move faster. Right. Um, so that's that. 
Okay, the CO's cache to clearing point will just go straight. He's going to just put it straight there with him. Not that I really think it matters much, but it's there. Um, I've got two foxholes, as you can see, in each of row one. I've put the combat outpost with two foxholes there. So we've got somewhere to flow through, and that's it. I'll and I'm allowed one target mark or a target marker, so I'm putting it on the farm here. The idea being is if I call in a loom, um, it'll light up that and all of those, so that gives me a fair idea of what's going on. Um, gear wise, the CO's got the battalion tack, his radio, and the arty field ones there, his uh, Ford observers there. I've given him both Red Star Cluster and Parachute. The uh, Exo has got the Mortar Ford um, Observer radio with him, with radio. I've given him the Green Star Cluster and one handheld illumination and a Willy Pete. The Sergeant's got a radio, Green Star Cluster, a Willy Pete and a, a Loom. These two platoons have got their radios, a coloured smoke, which is really going to do nothing, um, and a normal smoke um, with a Willy Pete and one Illum each in case they need it. And one platoon is going forward, has got the TAC net with two smoke, and that's really just to give him cover, the same as he's got two normal smoke, two coloured smoke, and four Illum. So if he needs to throw and go, he can do. The enemy are deliberate and veteran paratroops. Okay, so uh, nasty, nasty little peoples. Um, so what else we got to do? I think that's about it. We're set up. Um, now... I know that we usually play these games out uh, for a full 10 turns, but considering we've only got to get up there and get back, I think as soon as we get back, it's basically the end of it. So that's the mission goal, is to get up there and get back. So, I don't know. Righto. I think we are good to go. So I've set it up a little bit differently. Uh, again, this time I've tried to tighten it up a little bit. I've also placed things like the main line of resistance and the target markers and the left and right boundaries standing up so they stand out a little bit more for you. Um, I'm wondering if maybe I may need to tilt the board up slightly for you. I don't know. You can let me know. I will try and do the bestest I can. Right out. So let's go over here to start with. And we'll have a look at the first turn, which is going to be uh, the first thing is usually the high headquarters, but there is none this time. So we go to CO orders. And we have four plus one is five. I've made everybody line. Um, I decided um, since they didn't do all that well last time, they didn't really grab a lot of experience. Um, the sergeant got taken out, so he came back as a green, and I've upgraded him, promoted him to line. Um, and that's about it. Okay, so the CO gets four plus one is five. And the first one he's going to do is to activate one platoon, two platoon, three platoon, the XO and the first sergeant. Simple as that. So one platoon will get four commands, plus one for no contact is five. Two platoon will get two plus one is three. Three platoon will get four plus one is five. The XO will get two plus one is three. And the first sergeant will get four plus one is five. So pretty good draws all around. Now the reason that I've done that is simply because um, 
what I need to do first up is get some commands going and then work it out from there. Okay, so we know first platoon is going to end up going forward. Um, I don't want to send them all forward in the first instant. So I'm going to... I'm going to break off a assault team from a one of one. And I'm going to send them forward. So there we go. That's two. They are exposed. And they go straight into foxholes, I think. Why not? They're bloody there. I may as well use them. So there we go. So he's gone straight into that foxhole. So that's two commands for them. And that is all they are going to do. They have four left. Okay. Two platoon is going to simply bank its and it's going to crawl into the foxholes. Now he's moved so he would be exposed but only him in the foxies. So I left them out just so they could get some uh, commands to start with. That was the whole idea of it. Okay. So two platoon has two commands left. Three platoon's going to do the same thing. He is now exposed. And I'm going to put him in there. So he has four commands left. The EXO is going to climb into there with his people. So that's three that he's used and they are all exposed. Which means he has no commands left, but that's fine. And the first sergeant is going to do the same thing and he's going to climb where okay so he's going to put himself over here that's a three bah, bah, bah. no he's not he's going to seek cover for this first thing he's sorry he's going to get the machine gun to seek cover so it's a draw of four and we get reshuffle <laughs> Oh, it's going to be one of those games. That's okay. We can do it. See if I can get these cards out to reshuffle them. Hey! <laughs> cards going everywhere. I'm getting too excited. I'm going to have to settle down. Right. Four draws. And look at the first card I pull. I couldn't do that again if I tried. I shouldn't have said that, should I? Because I probably bloody will. Okay. We have Rally for one. Rally for two. Contact for three. Okay, and lucky last is Rally for four. And he exhorts him. And he still can't do it. So that's two commands down. So he says to the mortar, Oi, get undercover. So he goes for a one. A rally for two. A rally for three. A rally for four. And he exhorted for five. Okay. 
So he's now used four of his commands. We now have the mortar under cover and we draw four because, sorry, you can't see. We're in Normandy, we've got a house. So a one through three will give us heavy cover and we get on a draw of five, a three. So we have a heavy building. Do, 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 do. Or strong building as they call it. So that gives us a, I'm pretty sure it's a strong, sorry. I'm, I just went blank whether it was a strong or a uh, weak. Uh, no, they're all strong for us, that's right. It's career and that where they have the weaker buildings. Okay. So we end up with a strong building with him exposed in there. And we have one command left. So the sergeant orders the machine gun in there as well. And he has no commands left. Right. Do, do, do. General initiative is for one. Do, 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 So general initiative wise, the sergeant is going to climb into the building with his people. Because he's just that kind of guy. Now, this is a multi-story as well. So at the moment, he's just downstairs. And I will get them upstairs shortly. And once they go upstairs, then um, I'll put a little thing to make them a little bit higher. Sorry, there you go. See, it says multi-story. Right. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Okay. So that's the only potential contact is there. Right. We're well, good to go. Okay, so from the game's point of view now, it is the enemy's turn. Uh, there's no high headquarters event on the first turn. There's no mutual capture phase at the moment. Nothing's happening with vehicles. There's no fire missions, so it's evaluated potential contact, and we have this one here, which is unknown. So let's have a look, and it is a B. So we have a potential contact B for no contact, so that's an auto. So we get number five. And number five for a B is package three incoming mortars. Package three. Okay, so we have a mortar spotter. So we have number one mortar spotter. Um, they have foxholes as a cover and an incoming marker minus three. Right -o. So we have incoming. To there so I don't forget again there it is and position wise he is going to be at 10 and 10 for placement is right front max line of sight which puts him in this farm where we're going and he is not spotted there he is Okay, um, done. So then we have the combat effects segment. So this guy's shooting us here for minus three. Yeah. Okay. So we have minus three, minus five for the exposed marker, minus six for being in trees effectively in the grove. And we have plus one and plus one, so we're at minus four. Okay, here we go. And it is a hit. Strange, that. On a line, which is a casualty. Killed him straight out. So we can get rid of the exposed marker. And we can get rid of him. 
and we end up with Kaz straight away. There we go. Yay, team. Not a good start. Righto, so um, we can remove the exposed markers now. Sorry, fat fingers. It's just easier this way. And that's that. Right out. So I'm just mark it down. And that was um, one mortar, I think. Yeah, one mortar spotter. Do, do, do. So he's at column two, <gasps> row three. One mortar spot. And he has one fire mission, which he's done. Okay, that's good. <laughs> right. Okay, so that's the end of turn one. And it is 21 minutes, and I think we'll roll straight into turn two. Why not? We are now at contact. Because we have a volume of fire down. Okay, so high HQ event, no. CO gets one command. And he is just going to keep it. So a one platoon will get zero commands. So they've got their four and no more. Two platoon will get two commands. Three platoon will get two commands. So three platoon has six commands. Two platoon has four commands. The XO gets one, which he will keep, and the sergeant gets one, which he will keep. Right. So, general initiative. No, sorry. That was all that. Uh, so one platoon is going to do a platoon move forward. So they go forward. Blop. In column of blob, they are exposed. Okay, and that is that. That leaves them two commands. Two platoon is doing nothing. They are banking theirs. Three platoon are banking theirs. Exile and first sergeant, like I said, have already banked theirs. General initiative is for two. So, do, 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 do. Um, I screwed that, didn't I? I didn't allow for the five for thingo. So it should have been a plus one, which would have probably been a miss or a pin. Oh, well. You live and learn. Remember, it is plus five. Maybe I should bring that over. Maybe that'll make it stand out a bit more. I don't know. Maybe not. So far away, man. Okay. Righto, so we've done that. So it's the enemy's turn. We have no higher one. This bloke only had one fire mission so he goes away foxholes remain there which is handy uh, mutual capture and retreat phase well we've got nothing I can't send anybody forward to get him which is a bit of a pain and I can't bring him back at the moment because I don't have a litter team and I don't see I, I don't see anywhere where I can 
you know, break off a assault team and then turn it into a litter team to carry a casualty. Um, to me, it makes sense that I should be able to do that. But I don't see it anywhere in the orders that I can actually do that. So it's not really a rally. Uh, dismiss, dispatch, create. See, I can create runners and stuff. For rally, I can attempt to convert a paralyzed to a litter and a litter to a fire or a fire to an assault or an assault to a fire. But I can't convert an assault to a litter team, which seems pretty stupid to me. Um, because realistically... Well, I suppose G, I could get away with it. It says detach team. It doesn't say what sort of team, does it? So I'm going to do that. Righto. So I'm going to... 2-1. Detach team, which will be a litter team, which can then bring the cares back. There, I'm happy with that. Okay, so update fire missions to next thing, and that goes away. Uh, mutual, sorry, mutual capture. Da -da 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 -da. Retreat any non pin, non captured, paralyzed team, which is what we did to start with. So they're going to come back into here, they are exposed. And I'll just keep moving them over to the casualty collection point. And then that's it. So remove those exposed markers because nothing else is going to happen this turn. Trust me, would I lie to you? Yeah, okay. Don't answer that. Righto. So that's the end of turn two. And we are at 27 minutes. <sighs> Okay, we're going to go to turn three. Oh, I know, we're pushing it, aren't we? Okay, so turn three, we hire a headquarters event, and we do have one. And it is event number three. Okay, event three is lost in the dark. Randomly select one unit and move it one card in a randomly selected direction and mark the unit exposed. One unit. Okay, so... This is where I need to work out what they mean by unit. Units. Any non-vehicle unit is an infantry unit and has a unit identifier. Okay. Right. So, randomly select one unit Move it randomly and move it one card in a randomly selected direction and mark it exposed. Well, okay, so first thing we're going to do is just going to look at a card. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, because it says randomly select a unit. So six, and it's going to be two. Righto, so it's going to be one of these down here. So we have number. One there, which is the squad, two and three. And it's going to be number two, which is the anti-tank. And it's going to move in a random direction. So it can move, it cannot move forward. Okay. And it cannot move forward. So the only place it can move is here. So that's not a random, but that's the best I can do is move it over here like that and mark it as exposed. And that's about the best I can do following the orders for the mission.
Okay, so we've done that. CO orders. Woohoo! He gets six, seven because we're back at no contact. Okay, now with seven commands, what's he going to do? With seven commands, he cannot command anybody other than RDFO and stuff like that. Um, and I don't think he really needs to at the moment. So he is going to simply move himself, the RDFO, and the 50 cal into the foxholes. No, he's not. No. No, no, no. No. He's going to tell the 50 cal to seek cover. So that's a draw of four. So we go one for contact, two for rally, three for rally, four for nothing. He exhorts him for the second order and they find it. Okay, so that's two orders gone. So he's down to five now. So this guy moves into cover because there's three lots of cover here. So it's a normal cover marker. And he is exposed. I'll put that on in a tick. And he orders the RDFO and himself in there as well. Which is two more orders. They're exposed now. Whoop, sorry. Uh, which leaves him with three commands and he is going to bank them. Righto. So let's come back over here then. So one platoon will get Two commands plus one is three, which gives them five. Two platoon will get two commands plus one is three, which gives them seven. And three platoon will get three plus one is four, which gives them nine plus. The XO will get his one and the sergeant will get his one and they're not doing anything with them. Three platoon's not doing anything, so he loses all his extras, and so does two platoon. So they have six each, and one platoon has five. So we've already broken off bits for most people, so we're going to break off three of one for a, an assault team, and we're going to send it forward, and it will go into the foxholes and it will be exposed. So that's two commands we've used. We're down to three, we'll bank it. And then we have general initiative of one. And that is going to be this litter team is going to pick up its CAS and move over to here, and he is exposed. So we're just heading over here to the casualty collection point, okay? Next is the enemy's higher activity check, and we have a shuffle. Well, at least we got through two-thirds of the deck that time. Da, da, da. How are we going for time? 33. Hopefully we can get through this. Okay. Higher activity check is no. Okay. Enemy activity check is nothing, because there's nobody. There's no mutual capture. No aircraft, update fire missions, no potential contacts. We have one, and it is a C at no contact is a draw of four. And we have a nothing for one, a cover for two, a rally for three, and a rally for four. So we have nothing there. Beautiful. Um, so there's no combat effects or anything else. That's the end of the turn. The exposed markers come off again. Oi. Okay, and we have finished... 
excuse me. We have finished turn three and we'll call it quits there and we'll come back with turn four. Okay. So again, thank you for watching. Um, the only thing I think I've screwed up so far is when I ended up with the casualty here. Um, but who knows? Anything's possible. Right. So thank you very much. And I will catch you later. Take care. Bye for now.